Hi folks, just doing a quick tear down on a uh, charger I bought for my solar battery system. It's a 24 volt system, 500 watts, or dual 500 watt panels. Uh, and this is one of the backup units and uh, my testing of it. Uh, this is supposed to ha handle 80 amps or about ooh, 2000 watts. I tested it with a small freezer and uh, it peaks about oh, 400 watts on startup and uh, about 120 watts on cruise and uh, it took this thing out real quick it was gone within an hour so uh, I thought okay I'll use it for a solar charger and then that blew up so uh, I now have a hundred dollar paperweight from our Chinese friends so I thought I might rip it apart and see what makes it tick inside if there's anything inside at all here we go got four screws here One there. Sorry, don't have time lapse on this one. It's a shame. Would have been nice to have a uh, 80 amp backup, but uh, you get what you pay for. And this was too good to be true. And yep. Oh, there's the uh, side for you. Okay, now you've got an LCD control panel there, probably a bunch of MOSFETs underneath, and uh, what have you. All right, I'll uh, quickly get this apart. Not as if I'm going to bust it. That soldering looks pretty shit. Let's see. Oh, nasty. So we've got uh, soldering done by five-year-old children, obviously. No heat sink compound at all. And really, really bad soldering. So I might... Uh, this is probably repairable if I uh, upgrade those MOSFETs to some ones from a grown-up. Uh, these are probably one amp MOSFETs or something, whatever just threw in, just to make the thing work and get it out the door. So anyway, there you have it, the uh, MMPT piece of garbage. Copy later.